get that, put that together, just have a simple clutch. Simple clutch, you're done. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. And first of all, I want to say thank you to everyone last week for entering the straw basket bag giveaway. I am going to announce the winner at the end of this video. So today's video is going to be how to mix prints like a pro. Now, it's something that I personally have been doing a large part of, my, part of my adult life. And when I wear it on my blog or on Instagram, I have been asked by readers like, you know, how do you manage to get that knack of putting those together? And I would never have thought of pairing that with that. So I thought, let me just do a video about it so I can explain how it's done. Um, I'll give you examples along the way of people who are doing it in, the, in ways that I think will help you. And I'll also give you some real life examples of clothing that's available right now online. And I will pair them for you and I'll show you why I'm pairing those two things together. Um, and I think, is that it? Yeah, I think that's it. So let's just jump in. <laughs> so the three guidelines that I have, number one is to stick with, generally speaking, two prints. It's not busy. It doesn't look cluttered. Rule number two is to stick to classic prints. I'm talking about Paisley prints, polka dot, leopard print, um, gingham, stripes, have I missed another one? I don't think I have. Those are the main prints I want to, and florals obviously. Those are the main sort of classic patterns that I think are the staples or the anchors of people's wardrobe who love prints. You just pull from those and you can, those kind of prints last year in, year out. Designers just update them or what they look like, but the actual print it's, uh, itself stays the same. Another guideline is to look for a base color in your print. When I say base color, I'm talking about the print that the pattern is on. For example, I'll show you here. So when you want to pair that, pick something that has a similar base color in it. Another good one is black. You know you hear of the term winter florals. That's because the base color is usually black because you associate black usually with the colder season. So you'll have like a black, and Zara does this a lot in designers. They'll do like um, a black blouse that has like say red prints on it or different floral prints on it. There you go again with that base color and it will have a different floral prints on it or maybe the same floral. But the base color is black and that is what unifies everything together. Even though you've got florals going on, you've got the cohesiveness of that base color that's running through everything. Okay, so first thing I'm gonna talk about stripes. Now, stripes to me are in some ways a neutral. They can be paired with more things than you would realize. For example, you can do stripes with florals. Now, first glance, you think, what? Why would I put stripes with something floral? But the simpleness of a stripe just complements the busyness of a floral. I'll give you an example here. I shot someone during uh, New York Fashion Week and she had this H&M floral jacket. Notice how boxy the cut is of it with these fluid drapey wide leg striped pants and it worked perfectly together. Why did it work? They're both complementing each other. You've got the boxiness of the dark jacket with the floral print. Together they work. Look at the fact that also she's wearing a black top underneath. So she's picking up the black, again, the base color from the pant, and she's wearing a black top or a t-shirt. She could have actually worn a white to pick up on the base of the white trouser, but she put a black on with it. And then she wears a jacket, little bits of black in it as well. So together it just marries, it just combines well. And another thing to notice is the structure. She's wearing a boxy jacket with the fluidity of those wide leg pants. They complement each other. Stripe on stripe. Now that is one of my personal favorites when it comes to me. Oh God, I'm doing all this with my hands today. That's one of my favorites when it comes to mixing prints. I love stripe on stripe. I'm gonna enter a couple of pictures of me wearing it with a shirt. I can talk more about how to wear shirts in different ways. If you want me to do a video on how to wear shirts in different ways, I can completely do that. But stripe on stripe is fantastic. Look at this mango top. Now, 
I don't like the way this is paired and this is not how I would wear it, but take that mango top and pair it with this ASOS, I believe it's ASOS, these trousers, and the comb oh, the combination together is, it's perfect. It's just, ugh. I like the colors. Again, you've got the blue from the top, a little bit of the blue from the pan, so you've got that base color that's marrying together, and it's just so much more chic. I like that the stripe for the top is goes across, and for the pan, it goes down, so it's just a really nice complementary combination to wear on the female figure. Oh, let me show you. This is another stripe on stripe example. Look at this top, this off the shoulder top. Gorgeous. So I took that, and you can pair that with these pants look at that then you pair it together that is it but look how that looks together i'm actually thinking of buying that i was doing this for your information but i'm looking at it going actually i kind of like that for me get that put that together just have a simple clutch simple clutch you're done you're done chic for days <laughs> Also, look at the sizing of stripe on stripe. One good example is to have, I'm gonna show you here, someone who was wearing it. You have different sizes in the stripes. So you can have like very wide stripes paired with a thinner stripe, whether it's wide here, thinner at the bottom or vice versa. And it's just that play on keeping that, avoiding that jailhouse look. So breaking it up and complementing each other by wearing a wider stripe combined with a narrow stripe. Put those two together and it always, always works. Another example is gingham. So I saw this gingham skirt from Mango, which I absolutely adore with the ruffles, very on trend at the moment. And I thought this would look so good if paired with this guess top that I found on the yooks.com. I told you about yooks.com in my other video. You need to check out yooks because they always have good stuff that people forget about, including myself. Look at that combination together. You've got the hound's tooth, which to me almost looked to the eye like a giant version of gingham, paired with the smaller print, again, larger print, smaller print of the gingham skirt. Married together, boom, that's absolutely brilliant. Now, if I was wearing that combination, I would probably pair that with a yellow shoe. Because to me, the black and white with yellow look fantastic, or a red shoe. A perfect, like, lips, a lipstick red shoe. Like, oh my God, oh, a red lipstick. See, I'm thinking as this video is going along. Trust me, trust me, trust me. Okay, so now we're gonna talk a little bit about florals. Again, like with stripes, try and go with a larger floral print with a smaller floral print. You don't want to wear head to toe giant florals and giant florals because you're going to look like a florist just threw up on you or something and it can make you look larger than you really are. I spoke to you before about ditzy prints. You could easily pair, now look at this I found, this is an example of what I'm talking about. Look at this Topshop skirt, okay, floral, pretty, pair it with this Topshop bralette top. Now the reason I picked those two together is again, there is a base color that is marrying between the two of them. You've got the red from the top and the red from the skirt and together they just look so nice together because the skirt is dark and the top is lighter. And if you've got like a smaller frame and you're tan skinned, that is gonna look so beautiful together. If you think that that bralette top is like, eh, too, too much stomach showing, what about this top? That would also work with that skirt. Although I think if I was actually buying and wearing that, I would consider tucking in that top into that skirt because I can imagine it being a little bit more high-waisted, which tends to read as a little bit more sort of chic and high fashion. And just wear that with like a block heel, like a block heel shoe if you're going out for like an evening dinner or just like a simple slide. God! Just try these things. I'm telling you, try these things and tell me what you think. I'm gonna show you an um, example here, a blast from the past of how I love wearing prints. And I've been doing it throughout all the years that I've been blogging. Here's one that I saw I thought was good to show you florals and florals. I like the transparency and the dullness of color for that shirt paired with the darkness and the winter floral look of that Zara blazer on top. It's really just about the color combinations. I just thought they just worked very well together. I find in general that winter florals tend to just work and pair with so many types of floral prints. 
Now for prints in general, outside of just the usual monochromatic sort of black and white, think in terms of, okay, you're, you're walking into a shop and you're thinking, okay, what colors, because these, pr these items are in different colors, right? So general rule of thumb, dual tones go together. Dual tones, thinking like um, emerald green and uh, sapphire ruby reds and sapphire blues. Those, if you see any items with those prints on, and those colors, those will probably generally go together because the base color behind them works. They're all dual tones. So no matter what item has what print on it, generally speaking, because the item itself, the base color are dual tones, dual and dual works together. The same applies to primary colors. Now this is for a bit more of an advanced sort of confident person, but primary colors, I'm talking about canary yellows, I'm talking about Kelly greens, I'm talking about um, cobalt blues. These actually all work together. So if all of those items, like each one of those things has prints on them, by pairing two of them together, not three, just pick two of them, pick the yellow and the cobalt blue and put them together. Make sure that one has small prints, one has larger prints, put them together, Boom, look at what's gonna happen. It's gonna look so good, I'm telling you. If you're a beginner to mixing prints, you can always just take it in baby steps, right? So here's my baby steps for you. One, wear a dress that has a print that you love, okay? And then take a color from that print, that dress for example, and pick it up in the shoe. So I'm gonna show you a picture here. I think it's of Natalie Jews. If you look at the shoe, she's wearing a shoe that has a color from the print in her dress. And this is an, is an example I've seen done time and time again. And it's just an easy way for you to toe dip into wearing prints in the first place. Another example for a beginner is maybe just do um, a one printed accessory. For example, take a gingham shoe, for example. I saw one recently on River, I think it was on River Island. I'll show you here if it's, if it's the one I'm thinking about. But take a color from that gingham, whether it's a pink and white gingham or a blue and white gingham, and wear a blue dress or a white dress. So therefore, you're marrying the two together. You're still getting in that print trend, but in a very small way. Also, think about a clutch. Look at Natalie here. She's got a, I always pick people who, to me during Fashion Week, are very good proponents of showing how to mix prints. Natalie Juice is a good one, and Susie Lau from, uh, the Style Bubble, she's also a really good example of that. Although sometimes she goes like one step further and mixes several prints together. But the, the rules or the guidelines behind them, I find are the same. So for this one with Natalie, if you look at her purse, that is the pattern, that is the hero piece she's wearing here. There is a coordination of the red from that clutch and the red from her shoe. Okay, so you can see that, for example, and then look at her. And then look at her top. It's almost like a pineapple style. Notice the green from the leaf of the t-shirt, with picking up on the green from the skirt. So she's again, she's thinking. Okay, she knows that these work together because it's a color and a color being picked up on each other. The glasses, it's a red. It's picking up the red of the clutch and the red of the shoe. So these are just examples of how you can just use color to marry what goes with what. So just pick a red item, either the glasses, and just have the print on the clutch itself. So these are just small examples of how you can just baby step into wearing prints. Mixing prints, it just never goes out. It's always, always around. So if you can go into a shop and just think of those basic sort of guidelines, I think you are absolutely setting yourself up for knowing how to master wearing prints like a pro. Okay, so I'm picking the winner for the straw bag, the basket bag from last week, the one that I wore in New Orleans. I picked one out for you lot, didn't I? First of all, thank you for entering the giveaway. And I picked, drum roll, <laughs> I picked Rachel Gill. So if you're watching this video, congratulations, and I will be in touch with you very shortly after this video goes up so that we can coordinate and talk privately offline, obviously. Um, and that is it. I think I've covered it all. And I honestly can say, I don't think there are any bloopers in this. I mean, I'll see at the end if there are when I edit this video, but I don't think there are. You see what I'm saying? I'm getting better. I'm getting better. I'm not going to toot my own horn here, but I'm learning. 
Anyway, I hope that this video was helpful to you. Like I said before, go with two printed patterns only at this stage. Don't sort of step it up and adding a third and a fourth at this time. Just master having two combinations and that in itself is gonna look absolutely stunning. Go with classic prints, like I mentioned to you early in the beginning of this video, like leopard, striped, um, florals, but try and keep the florals on the mid to smaller size. Even zebra print is also a classic. These are all time patterns have stood the test of time. And think about the base color that I was telling you about. So that's it, that is my lot. I am done with another video. Why am I doing signs like this? What does that mean? Anyway, thank you for following my channel. And if you like this video and you found it helpful, please do give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel obviously and I keep doing that bloody press sign again don't forget to follow me on snapchat and instagram my name is Karen Britchick if you had not already guessed that by now and I guess I will see you next week yeah that's it if you've got any questions about prints in general leave them down below and we can get talking all right take care and I'll see you next week bye Fix my hair. Oh, that's gonna have to do. Look at that look. Look, look at that look. Does that make sense? <laughs> God. Oh my god, I get so excited about all these things.